Hallelujah. To the people praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Azubike Precious. I said at number 20 at the Emmy Street. We are the evangelists of Kenan Land, Osho, the region one. We are here for our Bible recitation. My Bible recitation is taken from the book of Genesis chapter 1, reading from verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, Let there be firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament, from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called the seas, and God saw it was good. Psalm 91 He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will serve the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him shall I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowlers and from the noxious pestless. Psalm 23 The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in the green pastures. He leadeth me beside the sea waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness. For his name's sake, yea, though I walk to the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For thou is with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. That prevent the devil before me, in the presence of my enemy. That anointed my head with oil, my cup ran not over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Romans chapter 3, reading from verse 1. What advantage is then at with the Jews? Or what profit is there in circumcision? Much everywhere chiefly, because the unto them were committed the oracle of God. For what if some did not believe? Shall their own believe made the oracle of God without effect? God forbid, yea, God be true, but every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mightest be judged in thy saying, and mightest overcome where I, when thou art judged. But if our unrighteousness commend the righteousness of God, what shall we say? Is God unrighteous who maketh vengeance? I speak as a man. Romans chapter 12, verse 21. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Romans chapter 12, verse 14. Bless them that persecute you. Bless and curse not. Rejoice with them that do rejoice, and weep with them that weep. Romans chapter 6. Verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, for the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 3, verse 23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Genesis chapter 1, reading from verse 13. And the evening and the morning were the third day. Genesis chapter 1, verse 17. And, the, and God said them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. Genesis chapter 1, verse 19. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. Genesis chapter 1, verse 23. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. And God said, Let us create man in our own image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the earth, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Verse 27, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he, he, male and female created he them. Verse 28, and God blessed them and said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the earth and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Genesis chapter 2 verse 23, 
And Adam said, This is now the bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Genesis chapter 2 verse 25. This is the end of my reading. Thank you and God bless you. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Vincent Emmanuel. I reside at number 24 Dosumu Street. I watch for Kenalan Branch. We are the children invited from Kenalan Branch. We are here to present to you our Bible citation. As you listen, may you be blessed. My Bible citation is taken from the book of James. James chapter 1, reading from verse 1. James, the servant of God and of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greet you. My brethren, come to tell us joy when you fall into diverse of temptation. Knowing this, that trying of faith, work and patience. Let patience have a perfect work, that it may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask for the God that give me liberally and obey not. It shall be given unto you. But let him ask in faith, and not in wavering. But he that wavereth is like a sea wave, driven by the wind and then tossed. Let not that man think he will receive anything from God. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Let the brother of low degree rejoice, in that is exalted. But the rich, in that is made low. Because, as the flower of the grass, he shall fade away. For the sun is not sooner risen with burning it. But we dread the grass. And follow the power thereof, and the grace of the fashion perishes it. So shall the rich man fail the way and all his ways. Blessed is the man that enjoys temptation. When he is tried, he receives the crown of life, which the Father promised to give them that love him. Thank you. This is the end of my Bible citation. Clap on to God and appreciate him. Thank you very much for those recitations. That's where we cut it short for today. Thank you for doing evangelism, even as children. That's the heart of the pastor of choosing. Soul winning, evangelism, preaching the word of God. That is where our pastor rests on. And so these children are just doing that and they are children evangelists. They came with those recitations. They have more. But we told them because of time, we will only take two. Clap on to God and appreciate God for their recitation. Clap on to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Returning to take a few more chorister groups in this session. And setting up now is the youth choir of the Lord Choosing Charismatic Revival.